Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy Eddie Hill at Steel City Con and we're gonna show you everything they got as we walk around the con. There's quite a bit here at Steel City Con this year. Got some Star Wars Black Series, those are neat. Got 501st clone, that's nice. We got uh 46. Uh, got some got some uh, got uh tech from Rebels, not Rebels but Bad Batch. We got Soka, I got a few others. Um, a lot of figures. I don't know how much they are. But we're gonna walk around here, see what they got. Got some weapons, some actual replica weapon sellers here. Got this guy who's got a bunch of figures here. A lot of great figures. And my mom ain't here to hang off here on the camera, so I have to do it myself until my mom shows up. Got some uh Wrestlers and turtles here. And a whole lot of stuff here. It's probably gonna take one long video just to make this toy toy hunt big. It's gonna be one long video. This guy, he's just got about everything here. He's got about everything. And this guy's selling about everything. Awesome. He's got a lot of Got some Joes, got some Turtles, got some Star Wars, a bunch of stuff. And a whole mess load of Funko Pops. Why not? This guy's selling some more vintage toys over here. Some retro vintage toys you don't see around anymore. Got some in the glass case here. Quite a bit in the glass case. A lot of them are pricier. I have to go around these uh, people to show things off. Well, I got some grabs in there. I think these might be GoBots. Yeah, they're GoBots. Got, looks like to be some Marble. And a Gargoyle series, some Beetlejuice. Quite a bit of old school figures here. Didn't pick up anything, but. I got a whole thing of marble. That's cool. And all that Star Wars. Man. Whole bunch loads here. There's a lot of stuff he's selling at this booth, for sure. Got some anime figures. Got this. Oh, I think that's a vintage Naruto. 12 bucks. Oh, I might have to pause the video or something. Sorry about that, we had to pause because I found a figure and I was going to get it, but now we're going to show off everything else they're selling. This guy's selling a lot of vintage toys, a lot of retro vintage toys. Bert would be blown out of his mind by this place if he ever came up here to my neck of the woods. He'd be blown. They got Transformers, older ones, newer ones, older ones a lot. And a lot of Star Wars and a lot of Marvel wrestlers and stuff, man. This place is like the holy grail of toy collection, like the places. Yeah, it's the first time I've ever shot in here. Got some newer Transformers down there. Animated jazz. Oh, come on, my finger got in the way of the lens. That fall Cybertron. 25 bucks. Scratch that, but those are some Transformers mitten box. Of course. Got a whole lot of epic toys here at the con. Just shoot my YouTube channel. But yeah, this place is Holy Grail Central. I'll tell ya. Already scored one good figure, an anime figure today, so I'm happy about that. Got some Bakugan, got some more Funko Pops here. There's gonna be lots and lots of Funko Pops. I think those are some vintage wrestlers. You know, we got a guy selling a bunch of anime stuff, a whole lot of it. A lot of it in display figures anyway, not any Figmas or anything. I stand corrected, there are a few in this place. 
Man, this place is, gets awesomer by the by the years I keep coming. Oh, yeah. Got these guys who make wooden toys, which is kind of cool. It's just art craft. Some you know, more people selling Funko Pops and display figures. Uh, selling a box of TMNT, Iron Man Infinity Gauntlet. You got some Marvel, Transformers, some Black Series, some GI Joe Classified down down there. We're just gonna keep uh, going. Man, this place is epic, as always. Oh, we got some more toys over here, man. We got some, got some Marvel, lots and lots of Marvel. Got some uh, Ghostbusters here, man. We got Ghostbusters. I wonder how much you're selling these for. Probably, like 20 bucks. This Batman figure set, which probably arm and a leg, you can't look inside it. Real pain. See what's in it, but man, we got a lot of toys. We got Alien over there. We got Cobra Commander from G.I. Joe. Man, we got some Monsters figures. We got some Creep Show, Robocop over there, Gremlins, Alf, I guess, Evil Dead. A lot of lots of figures, man. Got some more figures and figures. More aliens over here. Figures, man. Man. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Uh, uh, we got DVD, Blu-rays and DVDs here, but yeah, last time I bought one, it didn't work in my, had glitchy problems. Not worth the money. Unless they're actual U.S. made. Then they're maybe worth the money. But yeah, we got some uh, Chucky. We got some Alien over here. Some Jaws. Oh, look at all this monster movie stuff. We got some Godzillas. We got some Joker. Yeah. Yeah. This, guy's got, bag. this guy's got some Preston figures over here. A lot of interesting ones anyway. Just walking around. He got some He-Man over there. Some vintage He-Man, retro vintage He-Man. Oh. Here, put this inside your bag. All right. All right. Okay, my mom just showed up. Would you like to take take over the camera? Sure. Just... At least what? I'll just get a hand ready. I would have to do most of the shooting myself. I did about almost eight minutes worth. Hey, what are we looking at? Well, we've seen a lot of vintage figures. We got some Zorro in the house. Who doesn't remember Zorro, right, Mom? Uh huh. Got some Star Trek and some Adam West Batman lunchbox. Bert would be in Mayus by this place, wouldn't he? Yeah, he would. It's like vintage toy heaven. You know what I mean? Let's continue to move, I guess. Some Back to the Future, some Scooby-Doo over here. A lot of vintage cars, I mean. Redesigns. Is there a limit on the video? What? Is there a limit on the size of the video you can post? It takes longer to upload, though. Oh, okay. But yeah, this is quite the rest. <laughs> who make stuff I'm here. looking at all the candy. Yeah, there's people who make stuff, which is kind of cool. Bert mm -hmm. would be impressed on this homemade stuff. Minis over here. All these mini figures. Uh, yeah. 
That's pretty cool, right? Email, text, so it's an old mother load of Funko Pops. <laughs> Isn't that a lot, Mom? Yeah. That's over $1,000 worth of Funko Pops got to be, huh? I can only guess. Oh, there's some more vintage stuff over here. Got some uh, Star Wars, some DC over here. You know what I mean? Oh, some Simpsons. Who doesn't remember the Simpsons? The Simpsons. Got some Star Wars. Some He-Man, which Bert has always find himself some He-Mans. <laughs> Masters of the Universe. I mean, it's not really big, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, we got some turtles over here. Bert is always finding turtles here. That's kooky, right, Mark? Sorry, no. He's now signing I'm a toy reviewer. So basically, I'm a toy reviewer. So I'm like a reviewer. That's why you're seeing the camera. Oh, we don't allow video, though. I'm sorry. Oh, you don't allow video? We're just sitting there and we're walking around just for my fans. Because I never do one. Okay. I guess we're going to have to stop this video here. Eddie Hill moving on and rock on and rock out.